Next to Irish Wolfhounds, Great Danes are the largest purebred dog breed. But don't let their size scare you. They're extraordinarily sweet and gentle dogs, much preferring a couch to a confrontation. Terry Dilliston breeds and shows Great Danes, but mostly she works with them, making her living by featuring her dogs in movies and television shows. The difference I find with the Great Danes versus maybe another breed is my Great Danes think. <laughs> they, they think, they'll sit there and go, hmm, why are we doing it this way? Wouldn't it be easier to do it this way, Mom? <laughs> like, no, I know it might be easier to do it this way, but I really want you to do it this way. Well, no, Mom, let's try it this way. As Marty demonstrates, Great Danes are remarkably tolerant of other dogs, and those big heads are filled with big brains. I feel the Great Dane is a very, very, very intelligent dog. Very smart. Aggression has pretty much been bred out of the breed. But that small comfort for the rare instance when you've got a very angry 170 pound dog who towers over you bearing its teeth. So anyone considering a Dane should make sure the puppy's breeder can attest to its individual temperament and lineage. The Great Dane standard does call for dogs to come in five and only five colors. Brindle, which is a gold and black striped coat, black, blue, fawn, and finally, harlequin. The standard calls for harlequins to be white with black patches like torn paper. Harlequins with proper show markings are fairly rare, and as such are held in high regard by breeders and owners. There is one other color which will soon be allowed into the standard. It's called mantle, basically a black color with white markings. But for all their lovable quirks, the real uniqueness of owning a Dane always comes back to its size. I think their looks are a big, big seller. Knowing that you have this large dog who isn't going to eat you who loves you.